Hey friends, my name is Z and you're watching Z Miss Easy. And welcome to a new video for IGCSE and Math. And today, we have questions for the derivatives of exponential and natural logarithmic function. And these questions are from this website right here. So I'll link it in the description or you can check it out on my website. And before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. And we'll start off with the first question. Differentiate with respect to x, y equals x square uh, times uh, e to the power of x. So y equals x square e to the power of x. So we can use the chain rule where we set this as v and u. So dy over dx will be equal to v u prime plus u v prime, right? So it will be equal to, let's just write it in a new color. v will just be x square. And v, uh, u prime will just be e to the power of x. Because remember that e to the power of x, after differentiating it, it will still be e to the power of x, right? So close bracket plus u, which is just e to the power of x, times by v prime, or the, the differential of v, which is just 2x, so 2x, like so. So we can look at it and we can factor out some term, which will be e to the power of x and x from both sides. So we'll factor out x e to the power of x, then it will leave us with x plus 2. And that's the answer. Number 2, differentiate with respect to x and y equals e to the power of minus x over x. So we can use the product rule or like the rule involving fractions. So the bottom is v over u, sorry, u over v. So, the, so dy over dx will be equal to v u prime minus u v prime over v squared. So this will get us, um, v will, be, will just be x, and then u squared, sorry, u prime will be minus e, uh, minus e to the power of minus x. So minus, uh, times by, minus e to the power of minus x. So, because uh, to differentiate e to the power of x, or like any exponential function, we differentiate the power, and then the power, the, the differential of the power will, be, will pull down to the front, and then the differential will remain the same. So minus u is just e to the power of minus x, and v prime will just be 1, so it'll be nothing. So, and then v squared will be x squared. So to simplify this, what we can do is that we can factor out e to the power of minus x out of everything, to read the, the, the numerator. So e to the power of minus x over the top is minus x minus 1 x squared. Like so. And we can of course factor out the, the minus to get minus e to the power of minus x and the, the fraction will be x plus 1 over x squared and they get the same thing. And question number 3. Differentiate with respect to x, y equals e to the power of x minus x cubed L, uh, times by ln x. So what we can do is that we can just break it down into two different parts. We will first differentiate the top part right here, uh, x cubed. Uh, times by L and x. So let's just write it together, e to the power of e like so, L and x. So dy over ds will be, the differential of the top will be, the power will be, it's like the same just now, chain rule v and u, it will be v u prime plus u v prime, as seen here. So you scroll down. So we'll do v u prime first, v will be x cubed, u prime. So basically, we have to differentiate ln x, which, if you remember from last lesson, to differentiate ln to differentiate ln x, the it will be the differential of the bracket, which would be one in this case, over the uh, over the original bracket. So it would be x. So it would be one over x, v u prime, plus u v prime. U is ln x. V prime will be three x squared, like so. And then we have to just put the exponential function together. So e to the power of x to the power of 3, and then x. So we can now simplify this whole thing to get us, let's just write a new color. So we will get us e to the power of x cubed, and then x. And then the bracket, this will be x squared because 1 x cancels out with 1, so it will be 2. So x squared plus 3 x squared ln x, like so. And actually what I can do is that I can also extract or factor out an x squared. 
So it'll be x squared, e x cubed, ln x, 1 plus 3 ln x, like so. And then number 4, differentiate with respect to x, y equals x squared, ln 9x. So it's the same chain rule as we saw just now, v u. So what v, uh, y equals uh, the, the, the one on top. So dy over dx will be equal to v u prime plus u v prime, which is also equal to, well, this is v in this case, x, q, uh, x squared, right? And u prime will be 9 over 9x, because the differential of 9x is 9. So 9 over 9x plus u, what is u? u is just ln 9x times my v prime, which is 2x, like so. So the, t the one on the left cancels out the 9, and this cancels out to just leave us an x, right? So it'll be x plus 2x ln 9x, like so. And we can factor out an x from both sides to get us x, and rearrange it slightly to ln 9x plus 1, like so. And question number 5, differentiate with respect to x, y equals ln 4x cubed plus x. So let's say we have, oops, y, so we have y equals ln 4x cubed plus x. So as I said just now, to differentiate ln, you have to just find the differentiate of the bracket, it will go to the numerator, and the bracket will go into the denominator, or the bottom of the fraction. So dy over dx will be equal to, Differentiate 4x cubed plus x will be 12x squared, right? Plus 1. Because you differentiate 4x cubed plus x to become 12x squared plus 1. And the 4x cubed plus x remain at the bottom of the fraction. So 4x cubed plus x. And that's the answer. And lastly, the last question. Differentiate with respect to y equal uh, to x, y equals um, this equation right here. So I'll rewrite it into an indices form, so e to the power of 2x plus 2x to the power of 1 over 2. So if we use the chain rule from the last few lessons, you will know that it will equal to y equals, you pull the power down, 1 over 2, and you have to differentiate inside the bracket. So e to the power of 2x differentiates to 2e to the power of 2x plus 2, like so. But we're not done yet. We have to do the power minus 1. So e to the power of 2x plus 2x. 1 over 2 minus 1 will be minus, minus, whoops, minus, oops, minus 1 over 2, like so. So what we can do is that we can simplify it now. So it will be a bracket, because uh, I mean a fraction, because this is a minus. And then the bottom will be the square root of e to the power of 2x plus 2x, because this goes here. And what goes onto the top is this part right here. So we have a half and then we have 2 e to the power of 2x plus 2. So we can basically times 1 over 2 to both terms to cancel out the 2. So 1 over 2 cancels out 2 and 2 cancels out 1 over 2, the same for both terms. So it will leave us with e to the power of 2x plus 1. So e to the power of 2x plus 1. And that's the final answer. Right, so. And this is it for this short video for IGCSE and Matter today. We look into the questions for the derivatives of exponential and natural logarithms function. And I hope you find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please give a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you never miss out on any future videos. And if you have any feedbacks or any constructive feedbacks about my channel or my YouTube or my website or my videos, you can comment down below and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description, for example, LinkedIn or Instagram or YouTube. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.yemixeasy.com And this is for this video and I'll see you all in the next video which will be integration, the rules and examples for the basis of integration which will be uh, the reverse of differentiation which you guys will stay tuned for next week's video. But until then, stay safe and... Happy learning.